this week it's time for another colour palette inspiration and the colour palette that I've chosen for April is this one with pretty um, soft pinks and peach and, and pale blue very very nice um, the image that the colour palette was taken from has um, some like paper confetti and little circles I'm going to incorporate some circular design into my project today but I just thought you know spring is here and apologies if I sound nasal today or if I'm going to start sneezing but here in the UK it's been quite warm all week and I am really suffering with my hay fever so I am quite congested and chesty so apologies for that if I don't sound the way that I usually do. I am struggling a little bit um, but I love this um, pastel colour palette very nice for spring for Easter and I just thought that's what I wanted to do this month. I'm going to be doing some printing and today just to change it up this is my four inch round jelly gel printing plate I'm going to be using that I'm going to be using some Posca paint pens and um, these paint pens have like an acrylic paint in them so I've chosen those in colors that fit the color palette and also a couple of shades of paint and I've got two of the Neon Lights um, Deco Art Americana paints, which is Pink Explosion and Knockout Blue. And I've also just got some white, that's Snow White, um, also a Deco Art Americana, just acrylic paints. But they're just a, a pale colour, just for the background, and they coordinate nicely with the colours of paint pen that I've chosen today. Because this is um, a small gel plate, I've just got a small brayer. This is just a small ranger brayer. And as usual, scrap of paper here just for clean my brayer on in between um, changing colours of paint. But to begin with, I'm going to put um, some pattern onto my gel plate directly with the Posca paint pens. And I just thought, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll create something nice for spring. Um, simple florals. Um, I'm going to just sort of go ahead and design it possibly just speed it up while I'm doing it and then once that's dry we can apply a layer of paint and pull a print finished drawing your design onto the gel plate you need to just leave that to dry um, you can see it doesn't take too long especially if it's quite warm and once you can see that that paint pen is dry we can go on to put a layer of acrylic paint on ready to pull a print so now that my paint pen is dry I can put some acrylic paint over here and get ready to pull the print so I'm going to use this knockout blue I'm just going to apply a small amount directly to the plate and I think also just going to blend in a little of the white as well. I'm just going to take my small brayer take off any excess this only needs to be a light coat And I've got my cardstock that I'm using. This is just some smooth white cardstock. I'm 
and press down evenly over the top of the plate. And there's our print with all that pretty detail in there. There is still a very small amount of paint pen left on the surface there. So I'll take a second print again using the knockout blue. I'll add a little of the pink explosion as well this time. just see if we can get a second print and there much subtler effect but again still showing up well there with the brighter colours definitely. So we'll do a second one while we've got everything set up. So once again I'm going to begin by um, just drawing a design onto my plate. Once again we just need to leave that to dry and then we can pop our paint over it. And once again our paint pan's dry so I'm going to just apply a little of this knockout blue to the plate. Just spray a nice thin even coat. And taking my piece of cardstock press down all over and pull the print and there we have again another really cool funky pattern some um, design still left on the plate so this time I'm just going to take some of the pink nice thin coat of paint on there again and we'll just remove the rest of that paint pan
and there's our second print. And for this last one, I'm going to show you how you can layer a couple of colours of these pens before you put your paint on and take your print. All you need to remember is that whatever colour you put down first is going to be the colour that shows on the top. So in this instance, I'm going to put an outline down and then I'm going to block some colour over the top of that once it's dry. And then I'm going to pop some paint over and the outline will still be completely visible because it will all be reversed when we pull the print. So I've drawn um, almost like an oriental chrysanthemum sort of design there and, and a few leaves. I just need to let that dry. As soon as that's dry, I'll block in some colour behind the flowers and the leaves. Now that our outline is dry, we can block in some colour behind the flowers. And it doesn't matter at this point if we go over the white lines that are within the flower because the white lines are going to be on top when we pull the print. As long as I don't go outside that outer edge, um, it really doesn't matter. Don't worry about having to avoid all of the white lines. Once again we just need to let that dry and then we can put our coat of paint on. And finally I'm going to take some of the knockout blue paint and just apply a little bit over the surface with my brayer. Take my piece of cardstock and press down. And there we have our lovely layered print. Once again, there's still some paint left on the plate. So we can go again. Gonna blend a little of the pink with the blue this time. And 
and just pull off a second print. There we go. And although these second prints have less detail in, there's no reason why you can't take your pens and go in and add some extra embellishment with the pens afterwards, or indeed just use these as a more muted background and pop die cuts and sentiments and things in front of them. Of course, you can't just limit this to a small plate. If you've got a large plate, it will work equally well. Here's one that I did on my 8 inch round jelly plate in the same way that I've done that last one. I drew the outlines of the flowers and then blocked in some colour behind them. And that I'm going to trim down and fit inside my journal and use it as a really nice background for my art journal. So I'll just clear this out of the way and I'll come back with a couple of samples showing you how I've used the prints I've made today. So here I am with our finished projects. Um, this was our colour palette, as you remember, with the, with the lovely soft pastel tones. And we had the circle motif in, the, in there, which I did try and use throughout some of the projects that I've created today. So first of all, we had our print that we doodled the flowers onto the gel plate. I've just added a stamped sentiment and a doodled border matted onto some pink card. And there's a really nice little card, quick and easy card. There was the second print that I pulled from the same um, design. And as this was a little paler, I've gone round with a, a black fine liner pen just to pick out some of the detail and doodled a little circular border there. And again, stamped a quick sentiment on top of that. Next up was our dotty design that I created with all the concentric circles. Really simple that one. I just again stamped a nice big bold sentiment on there, matted onto a couple of colours of card. And this was our second circular print. Again, much subtler. I added a few little extra dots with the paint pen and a couple of extra circles in there um, just to sort of bring out that design a little bit and then stamped some funky flowers and a sentiment on the card. The last print that we did on the four inch plate was this one with the layered um, sort of chrysanthemum design. Really pretty, didn't want to do anything too much onto that. So a quick sentiment in the corner and just matted onto some card. The second print that I pulled from that um, plate was quite pale and we didn't really get the definition of the white pen. So on this, I've added some foiling. I just took um, a quickie glue pen, a fine glue pen. This is a Sakura quickie glue pen. Just drew over where the outlines were and a little border and then used some um, transfer foil, just some of these sort of transfer foil sheets once the glue had gone tacky. And that just really brings out the design. And this is just one of the little Tim Holtz stickers matted onto some gold card. And that made it look really sort of luxurious and, and nice. So that's six quick cards. I've still got my larger print here that I need to pop into a journal. Um, for anyone who's interested, the stamps that I've just used um, are from issue 69 of Creative Stamping Magazine. So I've used a couple of the large, larger sentiments and some of the smaller words. The flowers also were, are on this set. This is basically last month's magazine. A new one has, has just come out. Um, this one you may well still be able to find in some shops. This is from last month's, but a really nice um, set of stamps there. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you've enjoyed the ideas on how to use these prints. And... Um, I shall see you again in another week and hopefully I won't be quite so bunged up and chesty. But for now, bye.